Yo, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Final Points Fishing. We're back out here again. It's a really beautiful morning. Look at how pink those guys are, man. One of my favorite things about surf fishing early in the morning is the sunrise. Look at it. It's just so pink and pretty. It's kind of like, like cotton candy. So that's one of the things I look forward to when I'm fishing, the sunrise. It's just one of those things that a lot of people take for granted. So yeah, I love them. But yeah, we're gonna be doing some surf fishing today. Uh, conditions are looking pretty good. It's not windy. The tide is relatively calm. The, the, the surf looks pretty calm. We got a couple of sets, normal sets and stuff, but uh, we're gonna be using the Lucky Craft right now. I'm trying to see if we can catch something. Uh, just kind of work the beach a little bit and see if we have any luck. But yeah, it's really, really, really nice this morning. We're looking at about, actually right now we're gonna hit peak low tide, which would be, or peak tide, which would be a 1.7 foot tide. So that's really nice. It gives us a opportunity to find some structure. And yeah, super pumpy guys. We'll see if we can catch. You, let's get it. Looks really nice. Just gonna see if we can find some spots to cast out. But I got this Lucky Craft 110 with it's the white sea bass. I love this thing because it's got that pearlescent little stripe on top. And it just shines really nice in the water. So we'll see if anything decides to hit. up our drag wow look at how pretty that is I'm sure our drag is not too loose couple mistakes of doing that in the past Here, we're able to get one more session in before our trip to, to Ens we're gonna be in Ensenada next week. So, fun for that. Wow, look at how pretty that is, man. Almost looks like those aurora, the auroras. Like a pink aurora.
haunting candy skies, man. Wow, dude, that's crazy beautiful. I gotta get a video of this and send it to my wife. That's insane. Water, I didn't even touch the water, but the water feels pretty good still. All right. See where the lip right here? Really beautiful, you guys. Now what will make it perfect is if we caught a fish right here. be the cherry on top. I wonder if this, uh, this is all part of that solar flare that we're, that we're gonna experience. It's all sandbar right here, but I'm gonna try it right here in the middle.
Yeah, right here in front is a whole little trough area right here. So there's a possibility that there could be some halibut right here. If any of you guys ever want to come out here and surf fish with me, man, that'd be more than welcome to bring you guys out here or fish with you guys. I'm trying to fish with a couple more peeps. man if, like i said if you guys ever want to come out and fish just let me know if you guys want to learn how to surf fish or you know try something new maybe we can all arrange to do something cool like that That's a halibut. Ooh. 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 Feels like a halibut. Yep, that's a halibut. Come on. Come on, baby. Bring it in, bring it in. I knew it. smokes Ooh. whoa Jesus Christ <sighs> told you he was gonna be right there in the front Ooh. that is a freaking tank oh my goodness that's legal for sure that's legal for sure, you guys. That's a legal halibut. All right, let's measure this guy. All right. 
He was just hanging out right there in that front hole. Look at that guy. Yeah, he's freaking huge. That's the eagle for sure, you guys. Look at that. Oh yeah. Come on, homie. Jesus Christ. Bro, he was... <sighs> oh yeah, that's legal for sure. That's legal for sure. Just gotta get him untangled from here. <sighs> Look at that. He is 25 inches. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, heck yeah, homies. We just got our legal halibut. Just look at that guy. That's huge. We're gonna keep that guy. We're gonna take him. There you go, you guys. We're gonna take him home, and we're gonna harvest him, and we're gonna have a good meal. Yeah. All right, you guys. So we got our fish, man. We got our halibut, legal halibut. So this goes to show, man. You always go and you give your 100%. You commit. And you're persistent. That's what those results are. And so I worked hard for that fish. So that's why I kept the fish. You know, if it, if it was any other time, I think I would have let him go, but I've been searching so hard for that one. And so, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna be dinner, man. It's gonna be, it's gonna be some good food. So we're gonna go home, fillet him, and we're gonna prepare something good, do a catch and cook. So, super pumped. And what, like I said, one thing about fishing, man, you know, it's always, it's always just having fun. And you know, I mean, you might get disappointed if you don't get what you want, but that's why you keep grinding it out. And so, you know, like I said, today was a show of what happens when you, you know, you work hard. And so, yeah, super pumped, man. Let's go. All right, you guys, so we're back at home and we're gonna fillet our fish. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna make like a salt water rinse for your fish because you don't wanna use fresh water. Fresh water will absorb into the meat and it will ruin the consistency of the meat. So you want to have really good meat, especially for a fish like halibut. So we're going to clean our fish right now. I'll show you how to do it. All right, so I'm going to grab our Mr. Halibut right here. We have our, our makeshift cover on the bottom because he's freaking huge. And just kind of kind of pat him dry, remove some of that slime that he's got going right here. So we get a better grip. There we go. That way when we're laying him, we can grab onto something like that. Cool. So on and so forth. So I'm gonna cut right there. That way when we're making our fillets, you can slip through there. And you see this little lateral line right here? Follow from the fin all the way down. So, just kind of go like so. Right there, 
just like that. Um, so there you go. And you're gonna start cutting along this way. There you go. Look at that halibut cheek, man. So these are the the cheeks right here, the cheeks. So don't ever throw away your cheeks. Those cheeks are fire. And then we're just gonna portion, uh, give or take, right there. Right there, maybe right there. It's a little bit bigger, so. That well, that is Look at that. Man. So we got portions for four days. So we're gonna vacuum seal these and then maybe make some ceviche with them later. And another thing about halibut. If we're eating it raw, I didn't have any uh, parasites in here, but if you're eating it raw, you're supposed, according to the, I think it was the Food and Drug Administration, if you're going to eat any raw fish, it's better to freeze it for about seven days or four, and kill any potential parasites that can make you sick. So, you know, this is pretty clean. We're going to fry it. We're not grill it, so we're not going to worry about any parasites like that or making us sick, but we have to make sure that we cook it thoroughly. But the chances of that happening are pretty rare. This is a fresh fish, so yeah, I'm going to cook that up. And uh, we're going to make some mango habanero salsa with some rice and halibut. It's going to be whew, super A1. Oh, I have water in here. Not so much water because you don't want to drown out the fillet but uh we have ice i'm gonna just dump some ice in here yeah that fresh water will soak into the fillet and it'll make the meat mushy and we don't want mushy meat we want nice firm meat so put some of that ice in there and then get some plain old salt. I like the 
I mean, you can use the one with the iodide. I don't use the one with the iodide, but you know, just plain old salt. Gonna dump that sucker in there. Loose, like slushy ice or um, this type of ice is fine for me. But you just, like I said, you don't want any of that water absorbing into into the meat because it'll make it really mushy. So you know, just you know, be generous. Dump all of that in there. If you have to use the whole thing, then by all means, use the whole thing. Kind of just shake it around a bit. Looks like it's gonna need more ice. Though. even more if you're filleting like a, a salmon even salmon or if you're filleting like a trout or a freshwater fish and regular water is it's fine but for for saltwater species I feel like this is the best method to kind of keep that nice and firm So we'll just let it sit there. It's not like a brine, but more of like a just cleaning off the, the blood and stuff like that. So it doesn't have to be something crazy, you know what I'm saying? Just. ahead and take off the skin Could pat them down also clean it up then make a little small cut right there just kind of Roll the knife through like that. Point the knife slantly, like a slant. No fillet. Alright you guys, so for our salsa, we got a tomato, purple onion, mango, some limes, the habanero peppers, and garlic. So let's go ahead and chop. And just dice them up. Cube them out of there. Keep 
fit that. The aromatic scent. Same old plain salt. Much of a fan of salt. Oh yeah. Last but not least, our habanero. Look at that color on that thing. Ooh, man, that thing is going to be spicy. Beautiful stuff. Oh, yeah. All right, now to the fish. All right. So for a halibut, just a little bit of crushed black pepper. Since I ran out of pepper, I'm gonna use this fishmonger seasoning. It's got salt, black pepper, <clears throat> garlic, just a hint. Just like that. Now we're gonna throw it on the pan. All right, we're gonna throw it to some medium high or medium no, just medium. Some butter. Be generous with it. There you go. Just let that butter melt. Yeah, I got some rice going right now too, so it's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna just drop this thing nice and slow. All right, and it's ready. We're just gonna wait for our rice. And look at that. Let's see how good this came out. Ooh, look y'all. Flaky that thing is. Oh my goodness. On apple teeth, y'all. Mm. Oh my goodness. Wow. A hundred percent. I've had mahi mahi like this, but halibut takes it by far. Oh yeah. There is no competition. That is just The butteriness, the sweet, savory, and spiciness 
of the salsa and then the combination of the rice oh my gosh super duper good I'm just like in awe right now I need some more salsa on top here you go Alright you guys, that's it for today. Real good day today. We caught our legal halibut in the surf. I mean, you know how hard that is during this time in the winter time. So, you know, super stoked on that. I wanted to do my catch and cook and I did my catch and cook. And so, real pumped on that also. The fish was delicious. That salsa was amazing. And I still got a lot more where that came from. So, you know, I'm having a good time. So yeah, we'll be in this now the next weekend. We're gonna be doing some fishing. Super pumped to get some content out for you guys on that. And hopefully we catch something over there. We'll see how everything goes over there. But you know, we're at 200 subscribers and looking on going more up. So hit that like and subscribe. And you know, that rod is still up for grabs, man. So time is coming up and you know, hopefully you're the one that wins it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one and always have fun with it, man. You know, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.